you started out with Robin then. Was it different? Yeah, I was. Were you different? Well, I fell in love with Robin. I never fell in love with anybody else. I was just choosing to be in that covenant of love with them. Do you see the two of them staying together long term? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I think, think their marriage really, is great. Yeah, I think it's great. I think mm -hmm. they're equally matched and equally yoked yeah. and they deserve each other. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the closed doors of reality TV's most talked about couples? Today, we're diving deep into the tumultuous relationship of Robin and Cody Brown. A friend of Robin Brown has come forward revealing the explosive fights and the intense obsession that has viewers asking, what's really happening with Robin and Cody's marriage? And how does Christine fit into the picture? Stay tuned as we uncover the truth that's been hidden from the cameras. Hey everyone, welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Robin Brown, the woman often perceived as the favored spouse in Cody Brown's unconventional family, has once again captured the public's attention. This time, however, it's revelation from a confidant that are casting a new light on the private conflicts within their household. Recent disclosures have brought to light Robin's alleged use of manipulative strategies, sparking a wave of outspoken reactions from the audience. The on-screen drama that viewers have been privy to appears to be merely a fraction of the actual discord simmering beneath the surface. Insiders claim that Robin has been silencing Cody, manipulating the family's story to her own benefit. This has led to a groundswell of discontent among fans, particularly on online forums like Reddit, where they vocally decried her maneuvers, especially in the wake of the shocking news of multiple divorces within the family this season. The murmurs of discontent aren't confined to recent events. They echo allegations of deceit involving Robin and Cody that trace back to the very first season of their televised lives. Some longtime viewers harbor suspicions that the pair's alliance was a calculated move from the outset. Amidst these accusations, one cannot overlook the fixation on Christine, another of Cody's former partners. The strain in the relationships between Robin, Cody, and Christine has been evident, culminating in confrontations that can only be described as volatile. These incidents have laid bare the intricate and often fraught dynamics that govern the Brown family, hinting at deep-seated issues that extend far beyond what the cameras capture. With the family's internal workings now exposed, the complexity of their inner relations is undeniable. Robin's position as Cody's sole remaining partner marks a significant shift in the family structure and raises questions about their collective future. As the Browns navigate in this new reality, the stability and unity that once defined their family face an unprecedented test. Observers and fans alike can only speculate on the path that lies ahead for their family, whose story has captivated many over the years. The certainty that once anchored their shared journey has given way to an unpredictable and potentially tumultuous road ahead. Moreover, Sister Wives fans first watched Mary Brown talk to Cody Brown about her infertility during Season 1 in Mexico in 2010. He recommended in vitro fertilization 20 after she had a miscarriage in 2007, but she rejected the idea and preferred natural conception. The wives gathered around Robin when she went into labor with Solomon in 2011, and everyone appeared excited. Mary was asked if she would consider allowing Cody's newest wife to carry a baby for her at that moment. Although Cody seemed to think surrogacy was a fine idea, Mary wasn't enthusiastic about the idea. He had a great time with Mary in Mexico in June 2012. There, amid sights of swimming with dolphins and exploring the location, he pressured Mary to answer Robin's surrogacy offer. Over time, he returned to the subject, but she wasn't overly enthusiastic about the idea. Sister wives learned that Mary Brown and Robin Brown had met in September 2013. Cody suddenly realized it wasn't a good idea after finally giving in to the pressure, so she told Robin Brown about his change of heart regarding surrogacy. According to Hollywood Life, Robin appeared surprised at the time, but viewers would probably be skeptical if that occurred now. She had managed to persuade the fans that she wants Mary gone, her sister wife's possessions in her hands, and Cody always in her bed. The timelines of the show are particularly suspicious to TLC fans. Mary told about how Cody had stopped being intimate with her seven years prior to the catfish incident in 2014 15. 2007 saw Robin Brown leave the family as a wife, and before making it legal in 2014, they actually tied the knot spiritually in 2010. A Reddit OP noted it and inquired about the opinions of other Sister Wives fans. Did Cody dissolve the relationship as soon as she was unable to bear him more children? This was the question that arose. 
For extra showtime, did Robin and Cody string out the surrogacy story? Additionally, Mary Brown claimed in the latest episode of Sister Wife Season 1 that she utilized Robin Brown to mediate her conversations with Cody Brown, the family patriarch, because Robin speaks Cody. Although this claim is nonsense, Robin is the only Brown family married wife who is still wed to Cody, making their relationship allegedly monogamous. One may argue that the other marriages were destroyed by Robin and Cody's relationship with sister wives. Between 2021 and 2022, Cody's other wives, Mary, Christine Brown, and Janelle Brown, left the reality TV star. Although Christine and Janelle pushed back, Mary was the one who first used the term speaking Cody in the tell-all episode on December 3rd. Robin often behaves more rationally than the sister wife's patriarch, and Cody isn't the easiest guy to work with. Her latest assertions, however, appear to allow Robin to solidify her leg up on the remaining wives, all of whom are estranged from Cody. Christine remarried and is freer than ever, but Mary and Janelle still struggle to separate from Cody. The latest move in manipulative nonsense is Robin positioning herself as the best person to translate Cody's commentary. Robin seems to think she can interpret Cody's directness better than Mary, Christine, or Janelle, but his original three wives have all known him for much longer than Robin. As his first wife, Mary and Cody were together for 32 years before splitting up. While Cody and Christine dated for nearly 19 years, Janelle and Cody were together for almost 20 years. They were spiritually married even though he was never legally wed to any of them. Robin, on the other hand, joined the family in 2010, one year after he married Christine. It's unfair to state that Robin is the only one who speaks Cody because the previous wives have been able to moderate his moods and lack of filter for years. Robin may be the best for talking with Cody right now, and she's the only one who isn't making him upset. Robin convinced Mary, Christine, and Janelle that she knows Cody best, somehow. Undoubtedly, she was the closest to Cody for years, but strangely, she was able to persuade the other wives that she had stolen years of their relationship with Cody. Janelle and Christine, on the other hand, are speaking out against Robin's claims. In the most recent episode of Sister Wives, Christine did not mince words while addressing Robin's claims, asserting, I met him when I was 18. Having known Cody for a long time, I can read him fairly well. I also speak Cody quite well. Mary may still believe Robin's assertions are factual, but Janelle and Christine will no longer fall for it. Christine agreed, adding, I'm like, well, I'm not sure if I really need to translate one for me. A long time has passed since we were married. With you out, we did okay. A characteristic symptom of Robin's constant manipulation of the other wives is her assertion that she's the only one of Cody's wives who can speak his language. She was eager to replace her fellow sister wives as the primary wife as soon as she became a member of the family. Robin masterfully played the victim when Mary, Janelle, and Christine started to see Cody's blatant favoritism toward her and her kids. Her desire to act as the patriarch's translator despite the fact that his other wives have left him is yet another attempt to establish herself in a position of authority within the family. Mary may be less wary of Robin, but Christine and Janelle are right to place the blame for their failed relationship with Cody squarely on Robin. All four of Cody's wives, both past and present, can speak his language. He's not a mystical figure in need of a translator. He's a manipulative, arrogant man who doesn't mince words, adding to the hurt he can wield over his exes. The other women in his orbit are still having difficulties, whereas Christine was able to separate herself from her former spouse. Robin's assertion that she speaks Cody are nonsense and just another method for the final remaining wife to wield control over sister wives. Luckily, her lies are simple to see through. Also, Sister Wife star Cody Brown acknowledged that after his three prior wives left him, he had a challenging time transitioning to monogamy with wife Robin Brown. In an interview that was published on Thursday, December 7th, Cody said to people, we're still in a deep state of mourning, if you will. From this, we're not recovering. Following his splits from Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Mary Brown, he added that he and Robin are both a bit depressed about the state of their family. We've been through a very difficult experience and our reaction to it has changed us, Cody said. We're not the same. The patriarch claimed that moving forward in a divorce frequently causes you to feel like God doesn't exist. You're so angry, so bitter, and you need to let so much sunshine back in, he continued. That's the thing. I think we're just at a transitionary point where I'm letting the sunshine in. Cody said they should all be seeking happiness in their own lives so they don't regret their splits after realizing that he and his ex-wives are in a different place. He said, there's a lot of doubt when you first break up, especially if you're not the instigator. If you haven't thought it out enough, 
if you haven't been practicing awareness. I just thought we had killed trust and I thought we needed to build it back. While Cody appears to be settling into his and Robin's new monogamous lifestyle, fans have watched the mother of five speak candidly about her preference for a plural marriage. She said in a confessional during January 2022's episode, I know this just sounds really funky, but you know, people who wanted to date me and that I was, you know, kind of chatting with or whatever, whoever talked about living, you know, they wanted to get more serious. A couple of them wanted to marry kind of thing. Robin said she could have been in a monogamous relationship in the past, however, she said she enjoys polygamy. It's not like I had no other choices, she said. With so many other men, I could have been really happy and in a successful relationship, she continued. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. It sounds like I'm bragging or something, but I'm not. I hate saying it. Just the truth, that's all. And that's a wrap on today's deep dive into the tumultuous dynamics between Robin, Cody, and Christine. Have any thoughts or theories on the situation? Let us know in the comments below. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see you in the next one.